Taurus, welcome to your bonus reading for the month of February. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So welcome Taurus. Hope everybody's doing well. So we're going to take a little look-see here, a little bit of everything, a little bit of love, a little bit of life, and then a little bit of advice for you for the month of February. And then we'll clarify uh, with the tarot. So we'll see what else you need to know for the month of February at this time. I do say at this time, I do consider all my readings timeless. So if you'd like to go back and watch past readings, links are below in the description box um, for your general and love playlist, as well as the decks I'm using, social media, how to reach out for personal reading. Um, if you'd like to tip, donate, send a gift, all that information is below. So what's going on with Taurus in love? What else do they need to know? It may be if you're Love readings didn't resonate for you for the month of February. Maybe something here will. Bonus reading for Taurus. Oops. For February. Was my deck upside down? Yes, it is. So we have the ships here. And we do have the ten of cups, uh, ten of spades at the bottom, which is about an ending. Then we have three here, which is about people coming together, working together, or something like that. Something's in motion here, taking flight. Um, let's see what uh, this has to say. Just a little snippet. The ship. I take you on a vacation or a business trip. You will need a suitcase for where we are going. Distance is what I am known for, and I am constantly in motion. Look at the cards next to me for the clues and cues to the changes I bring in your life's journey. So something may be changing in your love life. And we have 17 here, which is the Storks, I believe. And we do have the Queen of Cups at the bottom, which is water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And uh, that's about love and emotions and feelings. And the Stork here, uh, I think they bring in news. Let's see what that has to say. With movements, upgrades, and improvements, I bring spring and the change of seasons. Sometimes my symbol stands for a new family addition or simply a new state of evolution. I can be your move or your next promotion. Some of you may be uh, finding out you're pregnant this month or somebody around you. Ooh. Moving something uh, happened suddenly, very quickly, unexpected, I feel with the ship and the uh, storks hmm. or something in your life life news may come in about somebody having love and emotions and then things may move uh, very quickly so let's see what your what's going on elsewhere in your life Taurus at this time for Taurus your commitment is being tested first quarter moon so whatever you're being committed to whatever you're going through conclusions are within reach full moon eclipse so i feel like whatever you're doing here it's you're almost done you're almost there but you're being tested will you finish whatever uh you started here whatever that is for you it's almost done it's almost there you're almost at the finish line but will you stay committed on this journey so let's see what your advice is for the month. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Those who have reached out for personal reading. Those who have tipped, donate, sent a gift. Your support really means a lot to me. So thank you. Thank you. All right. What do we have here? Communication. So communication is key here. And we have double three. So if you're working with other people, teamwork, collaboration, or something here, make sure communication is fully open. Perseverance, not to give up. Four, your stability, your foundation. Definitely coming through here. And we have that over here. Your commitment is being tested. And I feel that in the trains going by. Your commitment's being tested. Will you finish this through? Will you will you see the conclusion? Something with communication here. And not to give up with the perseverance. So let's clarify all this for you, Taurus. This bonus, love, life, and advice. So what is this going on? What is the storks? Something's 
happens is going to happen suddenly in love. Three of Pentacles, someone wanting to uh, work on things here. Yep, and there's the solid offer coming in for the long term, the long haul, solid and abundant. Balance, patience here between two people. <coughs> so your patience, I feel like, uh, will pay off with the person. I think coming in here with an offer, now this balance, this peace, this harmony, working together on this. And it may just happen out of the blue, like suddenly coming in with news. Yeah, I don't think you're going to see this coming with the moon energy. Definitely not going to see it coming. To a sword, you may be a little indecisive at first, what to do with this energy. But we do have wish fulfillment here, so I do believe it's something you've been hoping and wishing for. So that is your wish and your dream coming true. You're not going to see it coming. You may be a little indecisive about this, like, is this for real? But yes, because that pentacle is very sincere, it's stable. And there's... Uh, Patience and healing and balance between two people, working it out for the long term, I feel. So somebody coming in with news that they want a <laughs> commitment for the long term that you did not see coming, but it's something you wished for. So your wish is coming true in your love life in February, or it could be any time, past, present, future. So what is this? Conclusions are within reach and your commitment is being tested. So here's the Page of Cups. That's, you know, peaceful communication kind of energy. Could be an apology. King of Wands. So fiery energy here. Fiery, passionate energy. So it's telling you here that if you're almost there at the finish line, not to give up, to stay in that fiery, passionate energy, that you do have the strength and endurance to see this through, whatever that is for you. Coming from a loving, caring, compassionate place. Two of Wands. So whatever plans, decisions that you're making here, uh, that you're following through, whatever plans you've made, decisions for your future, to follow through, not to give up. And there's communication, and we have that over there. So here's fast action travel communication. To the total wealth, abundance, prosperity, and the Ten of Pentacles, happy home and family. So being abundant for the long term. So something you're working on for you or your family for the long term. It could be a new job, a new project, uh, going back to school, um, opening your own business. King of Wands can be that energy of an entrepreneur. To stay in a loving, caring, compassionate energy. You do have the strength and the endurance. As much as you may feel you're tested at times, that you can see this through. That what you see for the future, you can see it through to your uh, total abundance here. So what else do we have here for communication? Perseverance is your advice. Eight of Pentacles. So putting in the dedicated effort and the hard work. Now we have the Queen of Wands. Again, that fiery, passionate energy. You may have a lot of fire in your chart, some of you. The Wheel of Fortune. So here's divine timing, fate, destiny coming in, things going in a better direction, not to give up, to keep on working, that perseverance and that fiery passion energy again, because fate destiny is on your side, things going in a better direction. Death, so we have Scorpio energy here with death, so let's see what that's about. Five of Swords, hmm, what else? And Hanged Man. So, so, I mean, the death card could be you, like, sometimes you may feel like you don't have the perseverance to see this through, but your advice is, <clears throat> the five of swords can be that energy of getting ahead at all costs, or do I just give up, or do I keep going on? Do I persevere on? Do I get up? Do I fight? Or do I turn around, walk away, and feel defeated? And with the hangman, this is gaining new perspectives, gaining enlightenment. Maybe take a pause, a breather, gain new enlightenment, new perspectives here. About do I really, am I really going to stop? I'm almost there. Am I really going to give up? 
And this is telling you to become enlightened that no, you shouldn't give up. The communication there, uh, be communicating with your higher self, with, you know, your spirit and angel team. Uh, maybe talking to people, friends, family for advice kind of energy also, or co-workers. But the Wheel of Fortune here is saying that things are on your side. Five of Wands could be inner conflict about waiting. You know, maybe you're getting a little bored with the process here with the Four of Cups energy. But to stay in a loving, caring, and compassionate place. Moving forward with um, love and compassion. Truth, clarity here with the Page of Swords. So maybe, again, that can be communication. Getting advice from those around you. Yeah, especially if you're feeling, feeling overwhelmed and burdened and like really dragged down from whatever you're going through here. But you can get through what I feel with open communication, advice, staying positive, and the loving, caring energy as you may feel uh, bored sometimes or feel like it's taking forever and having that inner conflict. Do I give up or do I keep going on? And I think Spirit wants you to keep going on, whatever you're per persevering in here, because you're almost there not to give up. And I think these little hiccups are just testing you. And for some of you in love here, I feel like somebody's going to come rushing in with an offer, wanting to work on it, wanting equal give and take, wanting balanced energy that you're not going to see coming. You may be a little blocked about this or defensive, but deep down it's been always been your wish and dream come true. So there definitely is a change, fast moving, some sort of news coming in about love. Fast news coming in about love. Someone now wanting to maybe even propose or um, commit or, you know, something like that. Well, Taurus, I do ask if you're new, you like my style and how I read, check out my channel, you like what you see. Fe please feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment, hit the bell. You won't miss out on any readings. You get about five readings a month. And if you do... Thank you, thank you. So best of luck to you, uh, Taurus. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, so I always, always shine your light.